physics people. Uh, welcome to physics lesson 2.2, speed and velocity. All right, so we're going to start this off by uh, discussing uh, the difference between speed and velocity. So similar to our last section when we're doing distance and displacement, uh, speed and velocity are very similar. However, one is a scalar quantity and one is a vector quantity. So speed um, is how fast an object is traveling, whereas velocity is very similar, again, to speed, but also includes direction. So uh, 60 miles an hour east, west, south, uh, falling at 9.8 uh, meters per second, down, uh, all going to be vector quantity. Okay, so let's take a look at our friends here, Cletus and Sally. Uh, I'd like to take a note that uh, north is towards Cletus. Um, north is not always up. Uh, it depends on your direction. So try to think of things two dimensions, north, south, east, west, as well as up and down. Uh, so north is going towards Cletus. Uh, note that they are both traveling at 45 miles per hour. So their speeds are the same. However, one is positive because Sally is heading north, and one is negative because Cletus is heading south. All right, so two ways you can change your speed. Speed up or slow down. Three ways you can change your velocity, on the other hand. Remember, they are very similar to one another, so you can speed up, slow up, slow down, or simply turn. So even if your speed does not change, if you are turning, you are changing your velocity. That's going to be very important in Unit 3 when we talk about acceleration. All right, so for this section, we're going to be looking at instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity. So how fast an object is moving at a certain moment in time. So at one second, how fast they're going. Two seconds, how fast they're going. Uh, for most of our notes here and our homework, we'll also be looking at something called average speed and average velocity. This is where we're going to spend a lot of time on. Uh, so speed is equal to our distance over time. So how far we've traveled over how much time. Velocity, on the other hand, is our displacement over our change in time. So for all intents and purposes, for this unit, remember we're keeping everything at a constant velocity. So our velocity average should just be our velocity. Because if you take the average of 5 meters per second, even if they are going for 100 seconds, if they haven't changed their velocity, your average is still the same. So let's see if we can put this to the test. So suppose we have Otto. He's driving his awesome school bus, and he's going from Detroit to Chicago, and he does so in five hours. Find his average speed. Okay, no problem. We know that our speed is equal to our distance over time. And since we are doing constant speed and constant velocity, our average speed should just be our speed. Uh, so 300 miles is our distance. 300 miles. And our time is 5 hours. 300 divided by 5, we end up with 60 miles per hour. So that's our average speed. So including stops, including picking up gas, getting stuck in traffic, eating a burrito, whatever Otto is doing along the way, it takes him five hours. So the average speed for him is 60 miles per hour. But it turns out Chicago is slightly closer than that 
100 miles. So if we could draw a straight line from Detroit all the way to Chicago, it would only be 200 miles. But we can't do that. We can't travel that way uh, because there's something in the way. There is a large lake. But our change from our initial position is only 200 miles. So we need to find our average velocity for this 200 miles. So even though our distance is 300 miles, our change from our initial position, our displacement, is only 200 miles. So let's go back up here. Velocity equals delta x over delta t. Our time should still be the same. So we're still looking at five hours. But our displacement is now 200 miles. So when we go through and calculate that out, our velocity is only 40 miles per hour. However, velocity includes direction, and since we are west of Detroit and not east of Detroit, that is a negative 40 miles per hour. All right, uh, that concludes our lesson for 2.2. The next section will be 2.3 motion maps.